Fast Tracker 2 can be very confusing to get started with. However, once you realize how it works and the user interface, it can be pretty easy. To begin, we're going to talk about configuring your system, the different settings that you have. If you go to configure, you can see where you can connect your speakers and your microphone. You can also change the audio quality and other settings. For this, I kept it pretty basic, so I changed the audio buffer size to large. If, if, if it's on medium or small, you are going to get artifacts depending on how many tracks you have. I changed the mixing frequency to 441. Then I usually switch it to Amiga just because I've had issues saving before with the linear frequency. Then you can change the input rate depending on what you have and what kind of sound you want in settings. And that was all under the IO devices configuration. Under the next setting, you can change just the user interface and the diff mouse shapes. Um, you can change how, like, the color scheme. You can change other settings as well. I, I keep it pretty basic. Here you can change whether it's in hex numbering or just basic numbering. You can add or remove um, like different zeros depending on how neat you want it. You can stretch it out if you want. There are some other settings. There are too many to go into, but you can check them out if you have the time. You can also connect MIDI devices. I do have my keyboard here, and I have used it before. Because I'm in a virtual machine, I do have to go to removable devices. Then it detected my keyboard. So I can connect to virtual machine here and continue. And then it just works as any other DAW. You can go to the help feature. It's pretty much a manual of anything you could want to know. So you can see keyboard shortcuts here different effects you can apply, and other features. 